हेलो व्यूवर्स वी आर हियर टू डिस्कस अगेन ऑन मैक्सिम एंड मिनिमा वी डिस्कस इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर जस्ट बेसिक ऑफ द मैक्सिम एंड मिनिमा विद ए ग्राफ नाउ अगेन वी ड्रॉ द ग्राफ दिस इज योर X axis, this is your Y, this is origin. Now what is here? We see that this point is maxima, this point is maxima, this is minima. That means we already know that uh, all the peaks, this peak, this peak, these points are maxima. and this and this valley this one and this one this valleys are called minima points but we have to write it in the mathematical form suppose why this uh, graph is y is a function of x how we can say that this point is uh, maxima or this point is minima in mathematical terms then we have to say or we have to calculate dy by dx if dy by dx is zero that means as i told already that at this point the tangent is parallel to or you can write that parallel to x axis if dy by dx is infinite then it is perpendicular to x axis now one thing is clear that either at uh, maxima or at minima the tangent the tangent at these points will be parallel to x axis it is okay so dy by dx will be zero on all these points whether it is maxima or minima but we have to know whether it is maxima or minima we have to clarify we want to check this whether this is maxima or minima so only dy by dx being zero cannot say that or it cannot confirm that this point is maxima or minima so we have, what we have to do is we have to go for another process and see, see the conditions such other conditions like Uh, yes now what we should do now as per calculation as we know that dy by dx equal to 0 now the total theme of this maximum and minima is at this point what we must know we must know that whether dy by dx is zero it is maxima or minima it is to clarify but only dy by dx is zero it cannot distinguish between maxima and minima so what we see suppose this point is a here dy by dx is zero but as soon as we start from here we go towards this this increasing then decreasing dy by dx and at this point dy by dx is zero that means when there is a maxima at maxima what will happen dy by dx is zero here dy by dx is decreasing here and increasing up to this point 
and decreasing like this. So, dy by dx is 0 at a, it is clear. Now, it will dy by dx. it in increasing order means it is changing from positive to zero then in negative terms it is clear this is positive positive was to here zero and then it going towards negative so dy by dx from positive to zero to negative or positive to negative side. Likewise, if we suppose this point is V, that is barely minimum point. At this point, what will happen? dy by dx at this particular point is 0 because the tangent at this point is parallel to x axis. But here it is decreasing, decreasing here 0 and then increasing. So, dy by dx for minima at Minima dy by dx tending towards negative to positive. It is also a lengthy process. We must calculate all these values, then we can say whether it is negative or positive. To simplify this, what we have to do is we have to calculate. differential coefficient that is d2 by dx square it will clear whether it is maximum or minima when d2 by dx square is suppose what is the condition of this equation at maxima dy by dx equal to 0 is uh, same in both the conditions maximum and minimum but what will happen d2 y by dx square so at maxima what will happen this d2 y by dx square is less than 0 then we will say it is maximum because because it is uh, dy by dx changes from positive to negative positive to negative that's why it is less than 0 here at minima what will happen this d2 y by dx square greater than 0. So, in all what we can say for maximum and minimum dy by dx equal to 0 common and d2 y by dx square is different for both the maxima and minima. Now uh, write down the conditions for maxima and here for minima. Understand it thoroughly whether it takes time, no problem. But once it gets cleared, we will solve all the questions very easily without any help. Need not to consult in each question. For maxima, condition for maxima and condition for minima. Dy by first condition is dy by equal to 0. The same here. dy by dx equal to 0 but what about the d2y by dx square 
here d2y by dx square is less than 0 and here d2 by dx square is greater than 0. Now this you have to mug up or just to remember so that there would not be any confusion. Okay. The point of inflection, turning point and stationary point. Three words are there. Here I can write this. Point of inflection. Point of inflection, the maximum and minima points where this varies and the point at which it is parallel, that means the changing from positive to zero to negative, decreasing zero, increasing, increasing zero, decreasing, like that. So these are called points of inflection. Stationary point, these points are also called stationary, stationary point and turning points. You can stick say stationary points or turning points. So don't get confused. Whenever there is any confusion, you can recall this graph. A this is increasing value then zero decreasing. At valley, this is decreasing, zero increasing. That's why it's the same again. dy by dx only tells about the status of tangent. Tangent is parallel here also, here, here, here. All the val uh, valleys and peaks give the value of dy by dx zero. But d2y by dx square is less than 0 at maxima and 2i by dx square is greater than 0 at minima. Okay. So, I think we have discussed most of the things so that how we can calculate the points of maxima and minima. Now, I think we must start the solving examples in next video okay thank you